Dear Dobson, I can't believe you're closing. They called you the Dirty Dob. You didn't have enough parking space. And you were one of campus's smallest dorm halls. But you were mine. You were a place I could genuinely call home. And I will miss you. I know you're just a building. And you can't hear me or receive this letter. But I'm writing it anyway. Because I want to show you how much you meant to me. When I first came to you, I was lonely, I was scared, I didn't have my friends or family, I knew that people cared, but I was too afraid to approach them, I didn't know what I should say, so I locked myself in you and just watched Teen Titans go every day. It was harmful and an armful, and a part of me was doubtful, but I'd always found isolation terribly and grossly comfortable and warm, so I decided to just sit alone in silence, eating ramen from a big bowl on Facebook, unhappy in my dorm. But then, like that one time when I said it in that video, God sent me inspiration through a random guy I didn't know. Yes, my hair got longer, but that's not what I mean when I say I grew. I changed into someone braver, and you were there to see me through. You saw me and my friends hanging out and watching Stranger Things, printing, cutting, mounting, spraying glue, and eating Burger King, crying and trying, designing for class in my life. I always had trouble connecting my phone to the Wi-Fi. So speaking of connections, I made more than a few of those. I've got the Wally to prove it, and a black and white watercolor rose, and that one disturbing painting I hung above my toilet. I'm not gonna name it, but it's great. You saw me cry over girls' lack of faith and self-confidence, diving deep into the bottom bunk, lost in my own consciousness, being encouraged and helped by people who now feel like family, praying and laying awake wondering who I'll be, the passing of Pauline, my kidney stones, classes and fears. It feels like a lifetime, Dobson, but it's only been four years. I can't believe you're closing. I still want to be a toaster. I'll visit for my pot stickers, but I wish that you were closer, because I know you're just a building, but you're full of memories. You are warmed up to a towel warmer and the idea of being me. I know this sounds cheesy, but all good things must end. I'll go live in Ryle, but you'll always be my friend. And as my arms swing goodbye, just like my automatic door, I'll say I miss you, Dobson. Dobson, 1224. Sincerely, your friend, Mr. Joshua L. Fish, College Man. Thompson 1224, <laughs> this is the last time I'll ever be in you. You were a great room to me for the last four years. I will miss you. Thank you for being my home. <laughs>